up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melo. I'm watching The Hobbit to celebrate 60,000 subscribers. Then I'm gonna be watching Desolation of Smaug when I reach 70K, 80K, I'm gonna watch Battle of Five Armies. At that exact same time I reach 80K, I'm also gonna be watching Fellowship of the Ring, 90K, The Two Towers, and then we're gonna celebrate 100K with the greatest movie of all time, The Return of the King. Another thing I wanna let y'all know about is I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Lord of the Rings to me is the greatest trilogy of all time. You cannot argue with me because I can tell y'all this, every single trilogy besides Lord of the Rings that everybody says is so great, there's always one movie out of that trilogy where everybody's just like, eh, it wasn't as good as the other two. <laughs> The Lord of the Rings actually, it made me into the person I am today. I'm telling you, like, I can ask my cousins how much I love Lord of the Rings. Cause every single time I was at my grandmother's house growing up, I will be watching Lord of the Rings and they'll be coming to the house and they'll just be like, bro, you watching Lord of the Rings again? <laughs> I own many maps of Middle Earth. <laughs> I don't own the Hobbit books, but I own the Lord of the Rings books. I have two action figures from Lord of the Rings. I got King Theoden and I have Aragorn. I also got a Lord of the Rings hoodie. And one thing that I just bought recently for these Middle Earth reactions, I have a pipe. This is actually Aragorn's pipe. So I know a lot of y'all are thinking, okay, if you are such a big Lord of the Rings fan, how have you not seen The Hobbit? Technically, I have seen The Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I'd never seen it all the way through. My mom actually took me to the theater to see The Hobbit because she knows that I love The Lord of the Rings so much. And we actually both fell asleep <laughs> right when Bilbo ran out of his house. And we both woke up when they was like on a cliff or something. And the other two Hobbit films I haven't seen because I just got so busy. And my family, we don't have money like that to just be going to the movies all the time. So like, I understand the big thing on YouTube, people wanna watch people experience something for the first time. I'm telling y'all this, when it comes to me watching The Lord of the Rings, it's always like I'm watching it for the first time. But let's go ahead and get into this movie reaction. Dear Frodo, you asked me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my adventures. I may not have told you all of it. I am old now, Frodo. Bro, I'm crying already, man. I just, I love that score. Oh my gosh, man. I love the font and I just love the map. For this city lay before the doors of the greatest kingdom in Middle Earth, Erebor, stronghold of Thrall, king under the mountain, built deep within the mountain itself. The beauty of this fortress city was legend. Man, look at these designs right here. It's amazing. Great beauty out of diamonds. Emerald, that ruby, was a nice shot. Sapphire, the heart of the mountain, the Arkenstone. Thor named it the King's Jewel. He took it as a sign. Dude, I would have stole that Ball thing. Would... Dang! There we go. That's the shot I was looking for. Could at least show us the silhouette of him flying by. Tearing that city up with ease. Dragon is huge. That was terrible tactics for y'all to just stand right there in front of the door. No! Hey man, if only this was Skyrim. They got the elves. And for real, you just gonna be petty right there and just look at our city being taken? This was a hobbit hole. Ah, <laughs> Frodo! <laughs> Boy came in like, hey, what's up? 
Oh man, I would love to live in Hobbiton, man. So beautiful and peaceful. I like that this movie starts before the Fellowship of the Ring starts. This is Bilbo's birthday. You think he'll come, Gandalf? He wouldn't miss a chance to let off his whiz poppers. Yo, a wizard is never late. He arrives precisely when he means to. And nothing unexpected ever happened. I'm trying to learn how to do that, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> 60 years. Good morning. Do you mean to wish me a good morning, or do you mean that it is a good morning whether I want it or not? Or are you simply stating that this is a morning to be good on? <laughs> hmm. I'm guessing this is when Bilbo was like 40-something, since this is 60 years earlier. I guess you can say I kind of feel like how the people who love Star Wars felt when they saw the prequels. I feel like the CGI is a little too much. If I can live in a world like Hobbiton, it'll be a utopia. Very impressive, Mr. Wary Wart. Now, I, I don't suppose you've seen a wizard lurking around these parts? Tall fellow, long gray beard, pointy hat. Haven't I've seen, seen him, him for six, six months. months. <laughs> Dwalin, at your service. Bilbo, Baggins, yours. <laughs> Do we know each other? Hey, you're just gonna stroll in my house? He said that'd be food. Boy, I'm not your damn butler. <laughs> Eating his own food, man. Had that season right and everything. Feely and Keely. At your service. You must be, be like Mr. Millie Bobby. Vanilli. No, you can't come in, you <laughs> Or taste. What the hell? <laughs> Do y'all see a sign that says Snow White is here? What the fuck you doing on my doorstep? Excuse me. The tad excessive. Oh, look like he, he just got that cheese. He eats it by the block. He's so that man's probably gonna be constipated if he eats it by the block. <laughs> you gonna blow up my toilet too? Pili, Pili. Oin, loin. I love the shot of them showing the sides of Gandalf in the house. I'm not even going to tell you what they've done in the bathroom. They've all but destroyed the plumbing. I don't understand <laughs> what they're doing in my house. They got nothing on Mary and Pippin. <laughs> you asked me to find the 14th member of this company, and I have chosen Mr. Baggins. And he's got a great deal more to offer than any of you know. There's no better support than Gandalf's. No, no. Give him no. a contract. Warren, please. We're off. It's just the usual summary of out-of-pocket expenses, time required, remuneration, funeral arrangements, so forth. Yeah, a contract? I cannot guarantee his safety. Understood. Nor will I be responsible for his fate. What type of BS is that? You got 13 Green. dwarves and you have a master wizard and y'all can't guarantee his safety? Sound like you just don't want to protect him. Evisceration? Incineration. That's yeah, a dragon. What do you think? You just gonna wink at you? Think furnace with wings. Yeah, I, I, I need air. <laughs> That's not helping. Whatever your name is. Did you know that your great 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 uncle Bullroarer Took was so large he could ride a real horse? He swung his club so hard it knocked the Goblin King's head clean off. That's quite a tale. And the game of golf invented at the same time. <laughs> the misty mountains cold. Dang, they able to do that with a humming? That song was fire. But now he's regretting that he didn't say yes. It's always good to take some risks. The boy Bilbo got some hops. Mr. Bilbo, where are you off to? I'm going on an adventure. That was nice, man. Especially if you think about the last thing that Bilbo said at the end of Return of the King. Come on, Nori. That was a nice shot right there. Why are they still flying around him, man? After the dragon took the lonely mountain, King Thror tried to reclaim the ancient dwarf kingdom of Moria. Oh, for real? Damn, so that's what happened to Moria. The giant Gundabad Orc had sworn to wipe out the line of Durin by beheading the king. Damn, that's messed up. I like that design though. I've never seen a white orc. But it wasn't orcs anymore, it was goblins. 
to the lone wolves, wielding nothing but an oaken branch as a shield. You got more strength with that oaken branch than you did with your actual shield. If you wish to change the weather of the world, you should find yourself another wizard. Are there any? There are five of us. The greatest of our order is Saruman, the white. <laughs> Boy, Gandalf is humble. And who is the fifth? Well, that would be Radagast, the Brown. Is he a great wizard or is he more like you? Damn, the shade. Disrespectful. Not good. So the dude's just walking around with bird shit on his face? <laughs> we got spiders. Oh, he saved him. Yeah, that was getting really tense right there. So what those, those she lob spiders? Hey, that spider webs all over the forest. What's the matter? We're supposed to be looking after the ponies. We had 16. Then that is not good at all. Should oh, we tell Thorin? Nobody uh, is eating the horses. I've rooted these trees. That was our thinking. There's something very big. And y'all didn't hear this? <laughs> well, that's lovely, that is. A floater. Oh. Oh, there's more where that came from. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You got trolls with manners. <laughs> <laughs> at least I know there's more to Middle Earth right here. <laughs> Better hope that boy don't <laughs> fart, <Snap> man. Something. <laughs> oh. 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 He wouldn't make more than a mouthful. Not when he's skinned and burned. I like the camera work right Murder here. Murder orbits round these parts. Dang. Hit them corns right there. This is a pretty cool set piece, man. Oh, Lay down your arms. Oh, no. Dawn ain't far away. Let's get a move on. If only we had I some don't eagles. I fancy being turned <laughs> to stone. Yeah, he's got worms. Oh. Oh. <laughs> in, in fact, they all have. You really got trolls <laughs> over here. I'm like, ew, I don't want to eat this dwarf because it got worms. It's a troll. <laughs> the dawn will take you all. Can we eat him too? Oh, dang, so they don't like sunlight. Since when do mountain trolls venture this far south? Not since a darker power ruled these lands. Oh, he had the head and the hands on the branch. Someone was here before the trolls came. These swords were not made by any troll. Yeah, it looked like elven swords. So that's how Gandalf got his sword? Oh, a sting. The blade is of elvish make, which means it will glow blue when orcs or goblins are nearby. True courage is about knowing not when to take a life, but when to spare one. Gotta have that Gandalf knowledge in there, man. Always have great quotes. Hey, I wish I had a sword to turn blue whenever enemies was close. Or I have it turn green since my favorite color is green. Or have it turn red like the blood of my enemies. <laughs> Spiders, Gandalf. They came from Dol Guldur. Aw, oh, damn, they opened up that forge back in Mordor. A dark power dwells in there. See, they got a now hiring sign up. <laughs> That says something when your ghosts look better in a movie that came out 10 years before this one. <laughs> that ghost looked terrible. <laughs> hey, man, that's really cool. They doing a reference to the Witch King and the Nazgul. Try to tell Toby. It'll help settle your nerves. Heck yeah, boy. Go ahead and get high, man. But I ain't, I ain't say smoke the whole thing, huh? That, that ain't damn awful type of weed you got. <laughs> Are there, are there wolves out there? No, that is not a wolf. It's a wark. You are being hunted. Come and get me! Oh. 
Don't really like how they're shooting that. I mean, I like the tension in the scene, I just I don't like how they're shooting it. Man, it still screams. This way, you fools! Come on, move! How you gonna call them fools? You just went over there without saying something. <laughs> Oh man, that horn, bringing back so many memories. The Valley of Imladris. Rivendell. Bro, seeing Rivendell and hearing that legendary theme, bro, brought back so many memories, man. Yo, I wish Rivendell was real. Th this is what I'll say. I would love to have my own hobbit hole in Rivendell. <laughs> Welcome, Thorin, son of Thrain. Hugo Weaving looked like he hasn't aged at all, man. Really? This, <laughs> this man attracted to the elves? I mean, hey, they are beautiful. I can't say I fancy elf maze myself. Too thick. He's like, yeah, so what was that wink, man? You were just twitching? Well, that's not an elf, mate. <laughs> he trying to talk to all the elves huh yeah one thing i like about the elven style though it kind of reminds me of the spartans and this is glamdring the foe hammer sword of the king of gondolin i wouldn't bother that eh? my sword hasn't seen battle I'm not actually sure it is a sword more of a letter opener really <laughs> How did you come by this? It's a big ass letter opener. Thirteen dwarves and a halfling. Strange traveling companions, come off. You say that strange. Just wave to 60 years. This looks like the same spot where they had the meeting for the ring. Y'all are doing this in somebody else's home. Stand by the gray stone when the thrush knocks, and the setting sun with the last light of Durin's day shine upon the keyhole. Ha! The weather top! <laughs> Dang, he has a white war too? Sharnargis of Axiom. What's up with these designs for these orcs right here, man? <laughs> that dude look like Rudolph. <laughs> there goes that sword. Not with your companions. The truth is that most of them don't think I should be on this journey. I wonder if they get him like on his knees or he's sitting down home. or if they just got like a really tall dude next to him in this scene. Cause I know that they have a little person next to uh, Hugo Weaving. Mananinga. Oh, heck no. They stanky butt naked selves all in your fountain. <laughs> I do not believe Soren Oakenshield feels that he's answerable to anyone. Not for that matter, who am I? It is not me you must answer to. Galadriel, looking beautiful as ever. I've no idea. Lord Elrond had sent for you. I did. <laughs> Lord Saruman? <laughs> You've been busy of late, my friend. R.I.P. Christopher Lee. I don't know how they didn't the... suspect he was evil. Just look at his staff, no, man. I... Without the ruling ring of power, the seven are of no value to the enemy. Hmm, I wonder if this was one of the first movies to do the de-aging on people's faces. They speak of a necromancer living in Dol Guldur. No such power exists in this world. He's nothing more than a mortal man. Radagast has seen- Radagast? He's a foolish fellow. It's his excessive consumption of mushrooms. They've addled his brain and yellowed his teeth. Aw, oh, dang. <laughs> Tell me that boy been hooked on them drugs, man, and y'all need to do an intervention. That boy Saruman, he pushing back on everything, saying no to everything. What? Nazgul blade. Morgul blade. What proof do we have this 
weapon came from Angmar's grave. <laughs> it's just funny after you've seen the Lord of the Rings movies and you just see how Sauron is. Just... We're about to step over the edge of the wild. That iconic cliff, man. But every day it grows in strength. You must be careful. I've heard of we movies be... doing like live concerts while you watch the movie. What? I would love to do that for the Lord of the Rings. Saruman believes that it is only a great power that can hold evil in check. I found it is the small things. Why, Bilbo Baggins? Perhaps it is because I'm afraid. And it gives me courage. My boy, Iliadithon. Doolithon. Oh, we know that's a damn lie. <laughs> Gee, where was you when he needed you most? In Moria. Or when they went to the Black Gates. <laughs> Yo! The rock came out of nowhere. Or boulder, I mean. Storm Giants! <laughs> Yo, they over here throwing boulders, man. They playing dodge boulder. <laughs> oh, snap. He hopping in the game. But like, shit, it's my turn now. Oh, man. I guess they fighting over who took the last ice cream sandwich. <laughs> they all roommates and shit. Some pretty good motion capture work right there. Should never run out my door. You're homesick. I understand. No, you don't. You're used to, to, to this life, to living on the road, never settling in one place, not belonging anywhere. Mmm, that hurts. No, you're right. We don't belong anywhere. I mean, because basically, if you settle Middle Earth like a group of friends, dwarves are like the asshole friends that everybody don't really like, but they still tolerate them. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! Oh, wow. They had trap doors in the cave? Ah, oh, goblins. Ew. Those specific goblins remind me of these like monsters. If any of y'all ever seen the movie Time Machine, I love that movie. That's what Gandalf said. He said those hobbits could pretty much go unseen. Okay, Bilbo, you got some blocking skills. Wow, that was a far ball. <laughs> Over there playing instruments and stuff? I feel a song coming down, down, down in Goblin Town. When the hell did this shit turn into a musical? Hey, <laughs> he threw that goblin at the camera. Golly. Song. It's an abomination! Oh, abomination! Yeah, he took the words right out of my mouth. Kill him. I have found his prize. <laughs> my God! Smeagol? What you doing up here, boy? <laughs> when I was a little kid, I used to do a Smeagol impression. Wear nothing but my draws. <laughs> Oh, the one ring. Smeagol had a pocket? <laughs> Ooh, that's an iconic shot right there. What is it, precious? What is it? My name. He's forgot what a hobbit is. It's Bilbo Baggins. We know safe paths for hobbits. Safe paths in the dark. Shut up! I didn't say anything. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> this man, Andy yes, Circus, yes, came yes, in this yes, film yes, and yes, had the yes, best yes, performance yes, already. Yes, yes. What? Has roots as nobody sees. Is taller than trees. Up, up, up it goes. And yet, 
never grows. A mountain? The mountain. <laughs> I wonder if they had. I wonder if they let Andy do some ad lib in this movie because I know he did a little bit in the original trilogy. And, and, and if I win, you show me the way out. Yes. If Baggins loses, we need to go. <laughs> Man, your skinny butt gonna eat him whole like a snake. Thirty white horses on a red hill. First they champ, then they stamp, then they stand still. <laughs> Why he call them horses though? That's what kind of threw me off. Give us a chance, precious. Give us a chance. <laughs> yeah, over here trying to rush him. Eggs. Okay. Is it tasty? Is it scrum? Is it crunchy? Let me think. Last question. Last. Man, of course Migo gonna be petty. <laughs> Can't trust him for nothing. What have I got in my pocket? That's no fair. It's my favorite scene I so far, game, man. Last. Oh, he was trying to go invisible. Oh, that would have been terrifying if he did have the ring. I used to be able to do a good impression of Smeagol, man. Yeah, that is a nice shot right there. And I liked how the camera work was right there, too. Yo, everything blended so well together right there. The music, the tension, the camera work. Damn, Gandalf? Hey, so Gandalf keep coming to the rescue like the eagles. <laughs> Yo, he ain't got that epic voice, man. When he screams that word, fight, it just motivates you, man. It gets you hyped. I do feel like there's a lot of scenes that are kind of reminiscent to the first movie, but I mean, like they all do their own twist to it in the end. Oh my gosh, man, he got the one ring on. I like how they made it seem like they interacted with each other because in Fellowship of the Ring, they just made it seem like he found the ring and just ran off. That's a cool shot right there. <laughs> Y'all really gave uh, Goblin the Wilhelm scream, man? I know each Lord of the Rings movie had the Wilhelm scream. Ooh, okay. Uh, that was nice. Oh, I like that. Yo, this is the best set piece they had so far. <laughs> you thought you could escape. Boy, do you know who Boy, you, you messing with? No. Ow. Ow. That'll do it. These dwarves have been through so much, man. Well, that could have been worse. <laughs> You've got to be joking. I would have called them out. Shoot, what would have been if he actually would have called their name? They probably would have killed Smeagol. Well, actually, I don't think Gandalf would have killed Smeagol because Gandalf kind of feels sorry for Smeagol. No, Smeagol, don't do those puppy dog eyes. Oh. I mean, you can't help but feel sorry for Smeagol, man. He didn't ask to be a golem. He just wanted the ring. Remember that name for a good 60-something years. 
How on earth did you get past the goblins? Oh, what does it matter? So if Gandalf kind of did see something, I don't know why he didn't like really pr press him about it. You don't have one, a home. It was taken from you, but I will help you take it back if I can. Boy, Bilbo quick on his feet, all right. And that's when he gained their respect. Out of the frying pan. And into the fire. Run! Good one, Bilbo. <laughs> Go ahead and bring them eagles, you already know. Nose the kid. Nose the guy. Hey, everywhere they go, they falling and stuff. Good thinking, Gandalf. Yo, those are some big pine cones right there. Yo, these eagles take it forever. Usually they come like that. All right, this is where I woke up at. <laughs> I woke up and the first thing I saw was him and I saw Thorin about to go fight him. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Yo, the iconic theme. Hell yeah. Thought you only played that song when the Nazgul show up. So if you a real orc, man, why don't you get off that warg, man, and throw them hands. Or that hand in that hook. Hey, got him in the face. Dang, they trying to come help, but they can't. <laughs> Bilbo, okay, with the clutch. Oh, that boy got courage now. You already know that's gonna inspire the others. <laughs> He's like, hey, bro, I'm sorry, bro. They on their way, man. <laughs> There they go, the eagles! So the eagles going after all of them except the main bad guy. He completely missed him to go after Bilbo. Come on, man. Like, hey, bro, I'm sorry. They didn't write it in the script. They giving us more screen time with the Eagles than they ever have. About damn time y'all showed them the respect they deserve. It's a good thing he all right. I hope they get a shield back though, or make him a new one. What were you doing? Saving you your life. Got killed. I have never been so wrong in all my life. Oh, thank you. So I don't remember them showing the Eagles a lot in this movie when I saw this in the theater. So I'm guessing that was part of the extended edition or whatever. Erebor, the Lonely Mountain, the last of the great dwarf kingdoms of Middle Earth. Yo, I love when Gandalf tells oh. us where we are. It's better than putting big ass words in the screen. Arriva. I do believe the worst is behind us. Just wait till you meet the dragon. Yeah, that was a cool shot, man. Boy, it looked like he loving it inside that gold. And there you go, the end of the movie. I mean, of course, it's not as good as the original trilogy, but to me, I think that this is still a good movie. I will say that there could have been a lot that they took out of this movie. That can go for any film, to be honest with you. Cannot wait to see the next one. All right, everybody, and that was The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Like I said, it's a pretty cool film. 
I enjoy the performances from Martin Freeman, Andy Serkis, and Ian McKellen, and Hugo Weaving, and Kate Blanchett. Christopher Lee did really good. But I'll say everybody else's performance was, they was it was all right. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was just all right. Like I know this is one of those films where it suffers from having a lot of characters. I, I really don't know anybody's name except for the main characters of this film and the people who were in the original trilogy. I don't even know any of the villains names. I do know one of the dwarves names is Keely, but the other one name, I think what is this, Feely or something? So I said their name is Millie and Vanilli. <laughs> And I don't know anything about them. To me, they felt just like extras. <laughs> uh, the story, it was cool. I like the different things that they were showing us with this movie here. To me, I felt like this is something that a lot of people have been begging Star Wars to do, which is to show more of Star Wars. Like Star Wars is a huge ass galaxy and you just keep talking about stuff with the Skywalkers. Of course, I love the music. The music is some of the greatest music in cinema. I did not like the CGI in this film. It was too much CGI. Uh, usually I don't never really say that that much. I mean, besides the CGI, the directing was actually pretty good. You know, Peter Jackson is a phenomenal director. I will say that this movie did feel kind of cartoonish. And I understand that because, you know, it's based on the children's book, so you can kind of say that's why it feels that way. It's just, for me, being a Lord of the Rings fan, that really caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> and then another thing that really threw me off is the musical numbers. Like I understand in the original trilogy, Merry and Pippin, they would sing every once in a while. Or like you have Pippin, he sang to the steward in Return of the King, but it didn't feel like a musical number. It's the music in this movie, it felt like I was watching a musical at times. Shoot, but I'm not no toxic fan or anything like that. So at the end of the day, you gotta remember that this isn't Lord of the Rings. It's in the same universe, but this isn't Lord of the Rings. This is The Hobbit. I will have to give this movie here an 8C-. But I really hope that y'all enjoy watching this movie with me. And if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment down below, and subscribe. That definitely helps the channel grow and the video grow. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links will be in the description. I finally have a Patreon now. So you can click the link in the description as well. You get full-length movie reactions. You get exclusive TV show reactions and anime reactions. But with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right? Peace.